What's up, you guys? It's Jono! Welcome to another episode of my Pokemon Legends Arceus request series. Today we're on request number 98, Massive Mass Outbreaks in the Coastlands. You can unlock this request by completing request number 97 before it, and then meet up with Mai right here at the front gate of Jubilife Village. In this request, we will see some familiar faces from different areas of the Hisui region. Of course, we're in the Cobalt Coastlands this time, so we will see some people from the Cobalt Coastlands, and we've got Garrick here as well. So he's going to give us 30 Sticky Globs, which is actually really important, because what that's saying is Sticky Globs are a really important thing in the process of doing massive mouse outbreaks. And that's true. You always want to carry some Sticky Globs so you can stun your enemy Pokemon and then catch them much quicker. This will speed up your process to do massive mass outbreaks one by one, and then you should be able to fit more more outbreaks into the number of outbreaks that you're able to complete while the storm is still going. Of course, you already know by now that if the rainstorm ends while you're doing a massive mass outbreak, that means that all of the outbreaks will disappear and go away. So using the sticky glob will help you get more outbreaks checked during a particular storm. Additionally, if you battle Pokemon during massive mass outbreaks, it does pause the timer on the rainstorm. So battling in the massive mass outbreak will extend the length of the rainstorm and you'll be able to do more of the outbreaks. I've actually been able to do every single outbreak in a particular storm successfully by battling at every single outbreak and then moving really quickly from outbreak to outbreak. So you can get a whole lot done during any given outbreak as long as you know these couple of tricks make sure you battle the pokemon if you're trying to make the storm last longer and you can also use sticky globs to stun them and then catch them as quickly as possible and that works pretty fast as well now as you can probably guess from the previous requests in this series you're gonna have to do three outbreaks from this massive mass outbreak rainstorm in the cobalt coastlands and i decided to do some shiny checking for this one because i was just in the mood to do some shiny checking and i did get the hisui and growlith and it had a star on it which means it's guaranteed to get a second horde which could be hisui and arcanine it could be alpha hisui and arcanine or it could be alpha Hisui and Growlithe as well and those are all really good outcomes and I was thinking maybe I'll get a shiny Hisui and Arcanine and you can see here that I did actually get the shiny Hisui and Arcanine so I do highly recommend to do some shiny hunting while you're completing this request it is your first opportunity in the game to get access to these massive mass outbreaks and of course they do have boosted shiny odds so I really do recommend to use this opportunity to go get some shiny hunting done and hunt some of those rare Pokemon that you're looking for and maybe even fill out some of your Pokedex as well. Since I decided to show that shiny clip on the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip the other two outbreaks that I did, but just keep in mind you do have to do three outbreaks just like the other requests and we'll have a few more requests that are similar to this as well. And hopefully you put those sticky globs to good use and realized how good the sticky globs actually are. They're one of the most important items in the game. So you definitely want to be crafting those sticky items. It's very cheap to craft them. It's also cheap to buy the items and craft them. You can also just buy completed sticky globs, but they're very expensive. And I highly recommend to buy the items to craft them and then craft them rather than buying the sticky globs. You'll actually save a lot of money by doing that. And whenever you see caster ferns on the ground, stop by and pick them up because they're a really good crafting item that you'll need for those sticky globs. So basically, once you get done with those three massive mass outbreaks, then you're gonna talk to Mai, and after you talk to Mai, you're gonna have to do a battle with your rival. This battle can be a little bit hard, so I am gonna tell you a couple of tricks to get through this battle. It's really not too bad, you just wanna make sure you have type effective Pokemon. Because we're in the post game, it's expected that you have a good team because you've gone through all of the major battles to get into the post game. So you're guaranteed to have some tough battles for anything that's in the request from here on out. And they are pretty challenging. So I do recommend to make sure you have type effective Pokemon for a few different situations. She does have a couple of fairy type Pokemon like Clefairy and Mr. Mime. And then she's also got a flying type Pokemon. So you're gonna wanna have an electric type move for that. And we'll see what other Pokemon she's got as we get through the battle here. I did speed up this footage because my battle didn't go quite as smooth as I wanted it to and I don't want to take up you guys time It was actually a really long battle for me. That's because this was on my second account So I don't necessarily have the best Pokemon and the best team on my second account I pretty much just rushed through the game so I could make some tutorial content that I wanted to make and do all of these request videos 
So my team isn't necessarily the best, but that's okay. We're able to get through the battle. But you can see she does knock out a good deal of my team. And I have pretty high level Pokemon. So you definitely want to watch out for this battle. It can be a little bit tricky, but you can get through with some electric type attacks, grass type for her water Pokemon. You need steel or poison type for her fairy type Pokemon. And you can use ground on her electric Pikachu. And you can also use electric on her flying type Pokemon. So those are the type advantages that you want to go in with. Luckily in this game, you can change your moves pretty quickly so just go ahead and change your moves on your pokemon before you go into battle and make sure you've got ground type electric type poison or steel type and you should be good to go getting through that battle it shouldn't be too challenging for you all right, so now that we got through that battle, we're basically done with this request. It's not too challenging of a request, but it is more challenging than the previous ones because we didn't just investigate those three outbreaks in the massive mass outbreak. We also had to do this challenging battle. So a little bit more difficult than the previous ones, and they are going to add some levels of difficulty on the next couple of outbreaks. Remember, we still have to get all the way through request number 102, Daybreak in order to unlock Massive Mass Outbreaks. So we do have quite a bit of this left to do. We still need to go investigate Massive Mass Outbreaks in all of the areas of the Hisui region. So we've got a few areas left to go investigate as well. And similar to the other requests in the series, we have quite a bit of story. In fact, most of this request is actually story. You spend less time completing the request and more time in the story dealing with characters and hearing their little bits of the story and their piece of the puzzle. But it's actually kind of fun because it's nice to see all these characters again. And I'm glad they worked in some extra story elements into these requests because otherwise the story's pretty much over. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for this request. Once you complete it, you get your reward. It's sky tumble stones and iron chunks and other crafting items that you'll need to craft ultra balls. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you found this episode useful and informative. Thanks to all of my amazing subscribers and peace.